Hey guys, it's Joe Carroll. Welcome to another episode of In The Mix. Today we're going to talk about mixing acoustic guitars. Ain't got time for thinking twice Like I'm running from the law you may remember from one of the uh, earlier episodes, and if you haven't watched it, uh, give it a, uh, a peek. Um, we talked about microphone uh, placement. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick the raw uh, sound of the acoustic guitar, no effects or anything, no plug-ins, and just let you hear you know, what we captured that day. Okay, so that's a that's a great raw sound. Mixing wise, uh, let's look at uh, what I added. First of all, um, this has become one of my very favorite plugins. It's it's still fairly new to me. It's only been out like uh, a few weeks to a month, uh, and this is one of the first mixes I ever done with it. But it's a, a tape saturation uh, plugin from Acoustica, and uh, just really love this plugin a lot. It, it really does a nice thing to the transients. Uh, you know, kind of warms the sound up and makes it very rich. Next, for compression, I used this uh, Plugin Alliance Lindell 254E compressor. It's based on a Neve 2254, which is a longtime favorite for me. Uh, this plugin and one other have kind of became um, my go to's uh, recently for acoustic guitars. Now, let's talk about my settings real quick. Uh, typically, I, ratio wise, um, I use two to one or three to one. Every once in a rare while, I'll use four to one. A recovery time, typically I'm going to use 100, 400, or auto, but for whatever reason, uh, this this cadence, this tempo, uh, what she was playing, 800 sounded great, so that's what I went with. Last, I've got the SSL. Um, this is also from Plugin Alliance. This is the Brainworks SSL 4000E. Big fan of SSL EQs, uh, channel strips, and they've been a staple of mine, my mixing for, for many years. It has built-in saturation. Um, as well as some little, you know, just little features like uh, a high pass filter built into the compressor, which the, the real console don't even have. So, uh, this is a it's, a, it's been a great tool for me. So, I'm going to bypass all these plugins and let you hear it raw, and then I'm going to engage them. Okay, I hope you've seen how much compression I was getting there. Uh, one little trick I want to show you about the way I use the SSL. You can see I'm doing just a little, uh, you know, uh, actual EQ, just boosting a little 3K and ducking a little, uh, you know, 377 cycles. It looks like. But one thing I like to do on an SSL, you can pull the release knob and it goes from uh, its normal attack all to uh, fast attack. It's not brick wall limiter fast, but it's pretty fast. So a lot of times I will follow my compressor, you know, on something like a piano, acoustic guitar, or whatever, with an SSL plug-in, do my EQ there, but then I will engage the compressor to just kind of tickle in fast attack uh, and, a, and a faster release, kind of tickle the um, 3 dB light. So I'm, I'm clamping down on it just a little bit. Okay, that's basically the sound. It was a great raw sound to begin with from mic, uh, mic choices, mic placement, and stuff like that. So there wasn't a lot to do. Um, we are adding a little reverb, let me show you. It's basically the McDSP Revolver. It's a, um, it's a, it's a great reverb. Um, I'm using the gold foil setting. I'm gonna use too much just so you can kind of hear you know, the type of sound that I'm using for, for this arrangement. There you go. It's just a short, you know, it's going to add just a little bit of sustain uh, to the instrument. That's, that's about all I'm using. This is a, you know, it's an acoustic performance. I don't want it to sound, uh, you know, like something that it's not. All right, let's talk about this other guitar. Balancing a sound stage is very important to me. This is a mono guitar. Um, uh, and let, let's break down what I did. I, I used this same, same tape uh, saturation plugin. I used a Dynamic EQ from McDSP, the uh, AE600, love this guy. I'm going to show you real quick uh, what it does. It, it, it dips down in the low mids um, only, you know, when I want it to. So it doesn't thin it out, you know, too much when, when he's not playing in a lower register, you know, the low end's not building up.
So you see it's ducking about, oh, I don't know, I'm gonna say three to five dB, you know, when it really kicks in. So it's just kind of clearing some of the mud. Then I follow that with this compressor from a DSP, uh, medium fast attack, I'm sorry, medium slow attack, medium fast release. I've got my SSL doing the same trick that I showed you on the other guitar. You'll see that like, no EQ at all. I'm just tickling the uh, fast attack compressor. And then lastly, again, balancing the sound stage is very important to me. And what this did with L being in the middle and the other guitar wrapped around her, I didn't need this guitar leaning too much to one side or the other. So this plug-in gave me some stereo spread on it um, that, that you know, kind of kept it away from her lead vocal, but still kept the image uh, balanced. Let me let me sh let me show you what it does. Pretty pretty remarkable difference. So once her vocal was in there, it really caused some uh, some separation for this guitar from the other guitar as well as from her vocal. So then lastly, those two guitars um, are um, combined to my bus return here and one little trick that I like to do get one last stage of analog saturation you know in my in my returns so lately what I've been doing is this Acoustica Gold which is based on a Neve and you, there's lots of different models you can you can choose and I'm still you know kind of figuring out some of my favorites but it really does a, a fantastic job of you know putting some analog uh, goodness in that last little home stretch if you will so anyway, that's basically what I've done to the guitars. Not a lot. You you know, you know, Great microphones and great positions. Um, sometimes you just, there's not that much left to do in the mix stage. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Okay, guys, thanks again for watching. Hey, if you would, follow Warm Audio on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for information on all the current and latest episodes, as well as, if you would, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at In The Mix With Joe Carroll for extra behind the scene footage. Okay, now here is El Sarah singing Running From The Law.
running from the law. 